Earth babies, what's going on? How's my beautiful queens and handsome kings doing? Capricorns, Taurus, and Virgos. What's going on? How's my subscribers, unsubscribers, and cross watchers? Welcome. This is a general read. If it resonates and you're an unsubscriber, hit that subscribe button. How is y'all doing? Welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot, beautiful queens and handsome kings. I love you. I love you, I love you. The full moon's on its way. See what the, see what we manifesting. What, what's going on? A lot's going on around y'all because Ooh, harmony. All right. Harmony. Harmony, look. My Virgo baby's getting some rest. So they don't hurt themselves. It says, enjoy the good moments. Harmony can be found in company of others. Serenity only comes from simple things. There is never a better moment than the present. Hey! Now, Virgos, you know I'm going to say this is for you, right? You know. You know it. You know it. But my cappy babies and my Taurus, Taurus, you too. Hey, I'm going to say that's definitely for you too, Taurus. Don't let nobody hold you back to what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, 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 oh. It's telling y'all to release your ex. Didn't I say, Taurus, I was definitely talking to you? <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy. Hey, Capricorns and Taurus. I left y'all to ask, I, even Virgo, even uh, Virgos, I left y'all, no, 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 I was Aquarius, I'm sorry, but, hey, I left y'all that song, y'all, Soul Ties, Soul Ties, y'all need to listen to that song, listen to it, listen to it, so, but, I'm sorry guys, half of y'all deck went on the floor, I had to go do it. One, one or two cards, I wouldn't have let the whole half of the deck. Woo, y'all got, hey, the ex didn't like I said, release their ass. Yeah. Hey, y'all hey. need to release, release it because y'all got an engagement. Your live life is extended to a higher level of commitment. So, hey, it's time for y'all to release that ex so your love life can extend to a higher level of commitment. Yeah, yeah. Because that ex is messing with your harmony. Yeah. Look. Worth waiting for. So. Hello. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work with your love life. So, guess what? That's what that engagement. Releasing that ex. I Past life connection. You have known each other before. So, hey, the reason why you are so connected to that new boo is y'all known each other before. Good. True love. It's going to be true love. It's going to be true love for some of y'all. Might not be for everybody, but some of y'all, it's going to be true love. Hey, you got harmony, but it's time for y'all to release that ex. I mean, come on now. How you manifest a new love in your life and you keep on letting your ex come back? You gotta let go. Because your ex ain't got no light. They're trying to isolate you. Uh-uh. Yeah. Somebody around y'all don't have no structure, y'all. That's cold-hearted <laughs> and trained. Now, I ain't gonna say it's your ex, but I'm gonna say it's your ex. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Look, y'all got somebody around y'all, an authority figure. Now, it could be an ex-lover, it could be a father, it could be an uncle, it could be a, a grandpa, a daddy. But y'all have somebody around y'all that really don't have no authority. Like they say they got the authority. They don't have no structure. they actually cold as hell. They got a lot of coldness about them. they rigid in their training. And we all know training. Whatever. 
He might be a killer if, if, if you don't understand. He's very narcissist. Very, very narcissist. Yeah. Yeah. My beautiful queens, I'm going to say that's... What is going on with y'all? Back to it. Beautiful queens, I'm going to say that's some of y'all ex-boos y'all need to release. Hey, I am. Look. But whatever they was trying to do to win at all costs, it's not going to win. It's not. <laughs> They was they had planned on doing something, which we know if they in training, like I said. <laughs> they treacherous ass, with their coldness, was trying to do something against you to win at all costs. They was. Now, it's not gonna work, but they damn sure was trying to do it though. Yeah, they they hey, yeah, they was. Yeah. This person, whoever this is, is lingering in a lot of resentment. And look, maybe they desire for you to forgive them or desire to reconcile. But look, they was trying to win at all costs. Why would you? For I mean, I, you should forgive them. But I wouldn't let them back in my life. I would forgive at a distance. Because anybody that has lingering resentment. Come on now. Come on now. Don't trust that. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Look. Hey. When you know somebody that don't love you, you don't have to treat them mean. Believe me. You don't. You ain't got to be their fool either. Shit. You, they want to play games and act like it. You can act like it too. Don't get it. Don't. Hey. I Believe me. I'm speaking for it. Because they'll keep on coming back and forth. Yeah. Especially if they try to play with black magic or something to try to see if it's working. To see if they got you back in their good. But you just stay entertainment. You just stay entertainment. There's a lot of people out there that just wants to see if they can, you know, get you back or you keep on fighting for them. Quit fighting for people that ain't willing to fight for you. They just want to be around to hurt you. The hell? No. Do that. You can forgive them. You can still love them. But don't let them back emotionally in. That don't mean you got to mistreat them either. Because some of them think they got you back because you ain't mistreating them. No, they just dumb. They don't have you back. I, you not finna go to hell. Because I ain't finna go to hell with you. Because you tried to mistreat. I don't have to mistreat you back. That's me stooping to your level. I ain't, How dare you? Look. Because look. Whoever this person was. Three cups. Thought they was going to celebrate. Which against you? I'm a look. I'm looking at this as uh, with all these. They was in the third party against you. We, we ain't even gonna protect. Yeah, yes, it was. Look, and it was too many burdens for you. Ten of wands. Whoever this person is that's lingering resentment against you was in the third party and had the, and brought you a lot of burdens. Not, brought you a lot of burdens. A lot of them. A lot. Look, they never had no real passion for you. I told you they and they still don't. They don't. You just, they, they, if they come back acting like they love you, hey, when somebody fuck you over and all of a sudden they start getting nice, you better be wondering why. You ain't got to ask them why, because they didn't tell you why they was doing it. But in the back of your mind, you better be, you better, hey, you better keep, you better not be no fool. Look, look. You tired of the conflict. You don't even want the conflict no more. You're tired of the conflict. You don't want it no more. And that's two fives. That's two fives. Two fives add to ten. There's going to be a completion about something. You, Yeah, look. Look. Like what I just say. Five of wands upside down is what? Respecting differences. You respect that you're different than this person. You respect that I, hey, while they desiring you to forgive them, you did forgive them. But that don't mean, just because I forgive you don't mean I'm opening up back emotionally and letting you back into my life like that. I'll never be your fool again. Because, hey, one thing I've learned, if a motherfucker do you once, they'll do you again. Yeah. Look. You're trying to avoid conflict in your life. You, you're tired of it. You're trying to avoid conflict in your life. And to avoid it, you're going to have to let, release that ex, whoever that ex is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for you to have new love. It's time for you, you already had intuition about what's going on. There's an ace of cups. Hey, this can't, the ace of cups. 
It's new love. Overflowing love. Overflowing love. Real love. And your intuition it told you about what was going on. Hey, cups is intuition. This ace of cups gave you intuition that you needed to avoid the conflict, respect the differences, not have hate, just respect this person that, yeah, y'all different. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to release you on out of my life. Yeah. Because you don't want, who wants to be binded to the devil? Nobody. Nobody. I told you this motherfucker wasn't right. Look. They still spy and gossip on you. Not only do they spy and gossip, Lord. <clears throat> did they just try to take my whole voice when I said that? Wow. Now, they spy and gossip on you. They they take notes. When I see the hey, they, they, they take notes. They probably be on the internet in a little group typing shit against you, gossiping about you, talking shit on you. Release this ex. Hey, they immature. They immature as hell. They immature as hell. Immature. I knew they ain't. Don't let this person come back because, like I said, this person still lingers resentment against you. They linger resentment because, remember, they was trying to win at all costs. They didn't get to win at all costs. So if they design forgiveness, they only design forgiveness to get your guard back down so they can fuck you over. They was in the third party. They was in the third party. It was in third party that brought a lot of burdens to you. A lot of burdens to you. So, hey, avoid that damn conflict. Respect y'all have differences. Avoid the conflict. Respect y'all have differences. And move on to new love. Overflowing love too. A new beginning. And, and always keep your intuition. Because guess what? Almighty wants you to know that this motherfucker still ain't right. They still spying and gossiping on you. But still. 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 Still spying and gossiping on you. Still. Yes, they are. Look, and this person's trying to take advantage of you. Well, they already been taking advantage of you. And they reckless and they inconsiderate. They do not want a real leap of faith with you. Your ex, look, the car fell on the floor. They do not want to, re they're reckless, y'all. They're reckless. They're reckless. They, they been taking advantage of you, and they, they have a lot of, they don't have no inconsideration. None. And how could they, if, if you've been good to them, and they got the nerve to be spying and gossiping on you. I knew when they said, the, no, I, I told you they in the third, y'all. Look. King cuts upside down. This person's cold hearted and manipulative. They have no real love. Y'all leave this person alone. That means you're no good. No good. No good. No good. No, they mean you no good. So you keep your morals and ethics. Maybe you're going to have to go to therapy or something because you know this could be an institution. Maybe they're gonna get caught up or something and they're gonna be they're gonna be the ones on their knees because they're gonna be in front of a judge for the fucked up shit they did. I don't know. But keep your morals and ethics. I don't give a damn what tradition you've been. There's no pastor, there's no count therapist that's gonna tell you. And not even the judge is going to tell you to keep on taking this pain that this ex had been bringing you. It's time for you to have victory. Six of Wands. It's time for you to have victory and be rewarded what you're supposed to be rewarded. It's time. It's time. It's time. A new journey is calling you. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. I love you. It's time. It's time for you to move on.